within the Bangladeshi diaspora, I find there is a resentment of uh, taking or uptaking this inoculation or the vaccination because there is a vested group who are spreading all sorts of bad news about this vaccination. What happens is that uh, for a community, especially like mine, the Bangladeshi community, the bear in mind, majority of people really, uh, you are looking at the first generation who has migrated here within the last 20, 30 years, they hardly speak English. So they can't even understand how the, broadly speaking, the news uh, from the mainstream medias, television outlets, radios. But they listen to rumors like this vaccine is uh, has a element or ingredients related with a pig. And you know, as a Muslim uh, community, this is a forbidden um, animal for us. So that's one reason. Uh, secondly, it, there's a rumor that the vaccination, the liquid contains alcohol. That is another forbidden item for Muslims. But as far as I know, my knowledge of Islam is concerned, um, medicinal purposes, uh, alcohol is acceptable. So now what happens is when you have a community who are reliant on those uh, kind of, uh, I, I would say they're pseudo uh, religious preachers. They, they take a cover under the veil of religion. This is one way of captivating the community so that they don't come out and they don't explore themselves, they don't integrate with the wider society. So that is the problem which perhaps is hindering the uptake uh, of uh, the vaccination. You've now produced a leaflet which has been both English and in the Bengali language. How have language and cultural barriers played a part in making people more anxious about the safety of the vaccine? That is a big question I, I'm, I'm, I'm facing at the moment. It is difficult for uh, people to understand the normal English uh, language to understand the vaccination. So I just decided that from my charity, I will come up with a leaflet. We'll have English and at the bottom, we'll have the Bengali translations. And on top of it, what we have done I have a friend, very senior friend of mine, Dr. Rashid Gatra. He is a, a consultant physician in Manor Hospital of West Midland. So I requested him to write an article for me uh, in English. He's a Muslim and he took the uh, vaccination and he explained he didn't have any side effects. And he has certified that it is safe and it hasn't got any, any pig or any alcoholic substances in it. I have translated it his English article into Bengali. Uh, I have printed the leaflets uh, and I need to go to these various shops and cash and carries within Northamptonshire to give one of the leaflets to them for them to take it home and you know if they need to speak to me I have a hotline there they can call me and I can explain them in their colloquial language about the authenticity of the you know, vaccination. So this is what we are doing now. How many have changed their mind having looked at the leaflet and have taken or are willing now to take the vaccine? When I did the, um, the first leaflet run and I gave it to about 16, 17 people, I have convinced uh, six, seven of them and uh, they agreed and they promised that they will go and take it 